From a shared commitment to God's word and one another, we desire to proclaim Christ Jesus, presenting each woman mature in Christ through encouraging, teaching, and serving in love, and promoting the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Rooted in the gospel, flourishing together. Hey there, I'm here with Rebecca, my wife, and the uh, coordinator for the women's ministry team. And you just heard the vision statement and the mission statement for the uh, women's ministry here at Emmaus Christian Church. And so I was just uh, wanting to ask Rebecca, can you unpack some of that from the from the mission statement? What is... it, it, it opens with from a shared commitment to God's word and to one another. And so I think the two things that are uh, so important about a women's ministry, it's a love and a commitment to God's word and to the women themselves. And so we we hold those two things together. And um, so every activity that we we plan, every Bible study that we kind of look through, the focus is uh, the Word of God and how that can transform our lives. We really do have a lot of really rich and, and, and healthy diversity, but I think because of that, you really do have to have something that grounds you. And I think the one thing that has to ground us and really turn our, our gaze to the cross is the Word of God. And um, um, another thing in the mission statement is our goal is to see women mature. Uh, you know, the purpose of the, of the church is for us to be made into disciples of Jesus Christ. Um, and so, um, you know, when I think about the goal of ministries for the women to grow up into um, you know the fullness of Christ and everything that he has for us that, that just is going to be fleshed out in different ways and in different seasons you know some of that is through a Bible study some of that is mentoring some of that is through prayer and you know some of that is through uh, just rich fellowship and so <clears throat> you know all of those things are um, how I think the mission statement is fleshed out in the lives of the women. That's good. Um, so what would you say are some of the things that you saw God do in the women's ministry this past year? In 2020, there was, um, you know, I think seasons of, of discouragement. I think there were seasons of loneliness and um, disillusionment. You know, I think that that had an effect on our church. I think it had an effect on the women. And so I think there were some very, very challenging seasons. But, you know, in all of that, we still saw God work and we saw how faithful he was to us women. We um, uh, did a First Peter study last winter and on into the early spring. And we were able to wrap that up and finish over Zoom. And um, the women's leadership team actually got to pull away in March and before COVID really shut us down. And that was, I think, very instrumental for the leadership. Um, it's where the mission statement was created. And, um, and then we did a summer study. We did Jen Wilkins' um, Women of the Word. And, and then we got together actually corporately. We really kind of took a step of faith and gathered as women and we had, it was really well attended and we were able to share the mission statement and um, opportunities in the church to get involved. And um, we've had ongoing corporate prayer. prayer. Um, Cindy and Terry lead that and I'm just really thankful for those women. We had opportunities to be in a um, prayer partner relationship where we paired women together and they've kind of taken off and um, women are you know, contacting one another and sharing prayer requests. I have a prayer partner and I'm just really enjoying getting to know her and praying for her. And um, we did a Ruth study and that was just really meaningful. It was a really good study. Um, we ended the year with our annual um, Christmas fellowship and that was a sweet time. And then we've actually started uh, first and second Samuel. You know, God has been so so very faithful um, in, in it all. Yeah, that's good. And where do you see things, you know, what are your hopes for this year? 
the leadership has actually not made a ton of plans for 2021. I think we're trying to hold things pretty loosely and we're planning as we kind of see things unfold, you know, with our nation and, you know, with our state. You know, the, the mission statement doesn't change um, regardless of what is going on. The mission statement is that we're to continue to be in the word and to be loving one another. And so um, I'm hoping that we will just continue to have Bible studies and that we will um, continue to meet as women as, as much as we're able and, um, and as respectful in a healthy way as possible. And, you know, my prayer and my hope is that women are genuinely loving one another as they reach out to one another and encourage one another because I really feel like that that's, um, in addition to just being bolstered by the truth of God's word, women who are genuinely caring for one another, you know, even in the craziness of COVID, that that's, um, that's the life of the church. Well, that's great. Well, if you are a lady and you want to participate, um, you can talk to this lady right here and, and hope you get involved and that God blesses the women's ministry this year.